Do you want me to start or? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Um, welcome to the OK Taco Show, everybody. I'm Troy Aikman. This is Joe Buck. Ha. Uh, we're, we're here for your pre-Super Bowl party yeah, yeah. podcast. Uh, thank you for having us. We're live in Davenport, Oklahoma on Route 66 at the historic Texaco station. How's it going, Troy? Uh, it's going great. You know, I'm I'm 19 times concussed. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> once, once concussed, twice dry, dude. And yeah. so... I'm doing good. Um, I stayed up late last night eating my popcorn. Da my daddy, my daddy did baseball. Oh yeah, your dad, yeah. Joe Joe Senior. Yeah, Joe Buck Senior. Yeah, he got fired for making that controversial statement. Yeah, and so it's good to have. Now he you. owns a steakhouse. Yeah, and he gave Demar Hamlin a heart attack. But yeah. uh, Buck Steakhouse, <laughs> it's great. One Buck Steak. Yeah. Where we don't give a buck. Your last buck. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyways. What do you got for the Super Bowl, Troy? That's a super question. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to get into pickleball, I think, is my thing, Joe. I, uh, I, this whole entertainment. Yeah. I'll save it. I'll save it. I'm going to save it. I yeah. got the Chiefs, I guess. I got the Chiefs. I'm going to cheer for the Chiefs. Nope. I'm going to cheer for the Eagles because Chris in PA listens to this. I was going to say yeah, the Chiefs because well, my Uncle Tom is right. a huge Chiefs fan and loves all that. But yeah. then I was thinking, but he doesn't listen. Right. So, because I love the listener. Um, I don't. Philly. I, I, for most Super Bowls. I'd say like, it's Philly, 74 to 20. Most NFL games or whatever. I root for for career ending injuries on both sides. Oh, don't come in here and be all neggy. I'm okay. Not. That's don't what be I, negative. I'm not. I'm not negative. You know this. Don't you, pop the balloon for these people. It's okay. A, one, it's not a spy balloon. <laughs> I know that. It's not, not a spy. piping that spy balloon. Never okay, pop a spy and balloon. Number two, you've known this. Oops, uh, all spies. Oops, all spies. <laughs> Uh, you know, you know this of me for the for the for the I don't know forever. When yeah. the Super Bowl happens, it's you know, you watch occasionally. You watch for the commercial. I, I now I I'm just old, you know. Well, I just don't I don't I don't care. If we're the gonna break down the third wall of your four or five years, so I go for injuries, but I am going for the Eagles, and I'll tell you why. Well, a lot to do with Chris, Trim. yeah, and but, that new boy. I like. Well, I shouldn't say it that way. That. <laughs> Yeah, the new boy you met. Yeah, the new my new friend. Boy, the yeah. little boy you met from 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 Philly. I, I'm going for Philly because the biggest reason is because on Drew's news that I watch so bad, I saw that uh, Philadelphia, uh, the whole city, what they're doing, bud. Yeah, is they're taking uh, old mops, old mop heads. Yeah, old mop heads with the uh, you know with the with the with the pole still attached. You know with the handle still attached. Mm -hmm. now. And they're and they're dipping in the old grease. What are they doing that? Hamburger for? grease and stuff. Yeah, you know, I mean, whatever kind of grease. What What are they doing that for? Old chicken grease. And they got buckets of it. Oh, Philadelphia is filled with grease. I a know feel. that. That's it's nothing but grease. Yeah, it's, cheese grease. They're, that's why they're called greasers. Philly buddy. cheese steak grease. Yeah. Philadelphia's got more the grease. The bread has grease. Jeez, so it's anyway, greasy. they bucket it up in five gallon and, and ten gallon. They have different sizes. Uh, but this truck was driving down, and it had a couple uh, big, big buckets, the, the 50-gallon drum buckets. Oh, yeah. Guy. And uh, what they would do is they'd fill them up about uh, three-quarters high, and then they'd have... Uh, That's a, grease half full, a, bud. A, yep. Well, it's not. It's a little over half now. It's 75%. And so the, you'd have a couple guys right in the back of the truck with their vests on. Smart. Which, well, OSHA you know, and safety. OSHA and safety. And so they would, they would plunge these big old mops... In these fifty-five gallon bucket, and they would hand it over the side to another couple fellas that was walking along the truck. And you know what they're doing, but I it's, don't know where they're going with this. Yeah, well, they're greasing down the poles. They're greasing down all the light poles all over Philly. Because <sighs> what happens if they win? These guys and gals, I'm talking to you out there, guys and and gals, they shimmy up the pole. Yeah, you know, to get a bird's eye view of all the craziness of people getting drunk and things. And of course you want to Is go that up. why they do it? Huh? Why do people climb poles for 
celebrations. You, know you get excited and your team wins, you, you know what you need to do. Climb a light pole. You need to get up high to get a bird's eye view of, of people celebrating. And it means more to see more faces celebrate, more happy faces. Do you think that, al- <laughs> I mean, clearly alcohol, for the majority of pole Has climbers. Has something to do with it? I mean, for the majority. But here's what <laughs> I want to know. I think, there it's in our sober, blood. I think it's in our blood because, you know, you got some of the aborigines out there in the bush that we, we don't know too much about. All we know is they, uh, they go, they go, uh, they go pole climbing. Oh yeah. And then you got other traditions, you know, those, those crazy Icelanders over there in order to get, get across some sort of fjord or, or gorge, they yeah. they put a big pole in there. In yeah. the middle of it, and they'd hang on tight, and they would just. Well, sh- you wouldn't want to grease that pole. Uh, well, no, you lose then, a lot of Icelanders. You know, a lot of the island people. Yeah, you know, they got the thing where they grease down the old ship, the old ship nose. I get that poles have been used for other things, partner, but I'm curious why well, it has <laughs> to do with. I'm saying it. it you, your primal brain comes out when you know your hmm. team. You just lose it. Yeah, you just you done lost it. I mean, that's the whole world to you. Um, you know, you finally saw your team win a Super Okay, Bowl here's the thing. Have now you... you could die happy, and the, 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 pretty much the easiest way to die happy is shimmy up a big old pole when you've got about, you know, five dozen beers in you, you know? Well, that's what I was curious about, because I guess the tradition or what happens in, in our country... It's family with, tradition, guy. Okay? With our people is, uh, you know, it's it's the overindulging indulge, yeah. of alcohol that you would think is what's causing this excitement and fervor to right. make a person climb a pole. Yeah. But I am curious about the gentleman who's very sober, mm-hmm. but very excited that climbs a pole. Because oh, I bet that's out it. there. Yeah, there's lots of them. That is what... Curi- I want to meet that fella because that's, well, a, that's a wild dude. Now like, if you're... If you're on your seventh water, yep. and the Eagles just have a walk-off field goal sure. and win the Super Bowl, and sure. you're like... Ripping your shirt off, and people are like, "God, Pat's drunk." Yeah. Pass me another Destani, and they're like, "Pat you know? didn't drink the whole time." Oh, he's drinking Destani. <laughs> he's got two two Destanis deep, dude. Yeah. But he's he's out on the field, you know, be humping <laughs> Jalen yeah. Hurts. Woo! Life water. <laughs> Woo! You know, yeah, if man. that's happening, I got to meet that. That guy. is happening um, because it's just something that happens. And here's the deal: uh, the town, city of Philly. Great movie. Oh, yeah. Philadelphia's great movie. And the town. Oh, the town. Yeah. It's a toiling town. It sure is. Um, here's the deal. Uh, they learned the lesson a few years back. I don't know if you remember this. A few years back, the Eagles uh, won a Super Bowl or a pennant or some sort of... <laughs> yeah, they won this. Some they won sort of Super great Bowl. race or something. I don't know. But yeah. anyway, that, that cause, cause for celebration was had in all of Philadelphia Square. Square. Oh, it, I they know. burnt the city down, down to, guy. They burn it down, but what? But that wasn't the big deal. They just swept up the ashes, you know, yeah. put in a big truck and haul it off. What they didn't like to do was break up the concrete to set new poles. So they got out ahead of it, and they started asking all the restaurants and everything. And you got any extra grease? And they're like, "Boy, do we!" Oh, you know yeah. what I mean, yeah, they're trying to get ahead of it. But what you're doing is you're you're putting a lot of grease in an already greasy situation for guys. sure, for sure. And uh, you know, there. That was kind of my idea. Is I don't know why you're asking all these poor restaurants. Just go get a go get a couple fellas off the street. Yeah, take the wife beater off. You know what I mean? And just wring it out. There's your grease. You think that that there's for days. enough? Huh? Well, in Philadelphia, in Philly, in Philadelphia, half a block, half a block. Uh, yeah. Dudes wearing wife beaters and little gold chains. Those, yeah, those those uh those little uh t-shirts. Yeah. You Those think that that would be beaters. enough oh, human enough. grease? Is that what you're that'd talking be about? Even enough human grease to do the whole city and out, probably out into the the country there. Oh, what's so crazy is that the game's not in Philadelphia. It doesn't matter. That's what's not. It's in it Arizona. It doesn't matter. Why are you climbing that pole, sir? Because a game happened in Arizona. A game happened in Arizona. What? And, and my team won. Wow. Okay. Get there's, down. There's pro- yeah. <laughs> please. I don't know how you got up there. We this one we put extra grease on. This is right yeah. downtown. This oh, is, they'll figure out a way to get out up there with the grease. That's the thing. Oh, because how high are you going to be able to grease that pole? They're going truck bed height. Well, now see the people's already. They must have saw the same commercial I did because guess what? Sky Rizzy, dude. They Sky Rizzy sales are <laughs> if on you the have ri- plaques are on the on the rise. Yeah, they're on the rise. But you know what else is on the rise, guy? 
cleats. Cleats. So yeah, people are people are trying to you can't you know, climb a greasy pole with cleats. They on, sure buddy. can. They, you take the you take the metal bits off the cleats. Put magnets in there. Yep. People are so yep. silly. Um, well, anyways. Uh, that'll help you shimmy up any kind of poll, really. This is your Super Bowl update. I'm Troy Aikman. I'm Joe Buck. Enjoy the game. And join OK Taco. Oh, yeah, do that. Uh, club, because we're going to do the show. And thanks thanks for everybody coming out. Thank we, you. We, we had really a great week. Um, really good week. Great week. Thanks to Summer for helping us uh, all week. Thanks to my yep. wife for yep. pitching in last night. Yep, and the boy. And the yep. my mm-hmm. son. Um, yep. Thanks to the town for not getting mad at us and throwing eggs at us for waiting too long for their food or whatever. Yeah. Well, we're not from Philadelphia. No, so. but we are greasy. And so yep. thank you um, for for all the support and uh, continue in enjoying our food and our fun. And uh, we'll try to continue to bring it at... Um, the level that we're supposed to bring it at, it's Br- a, bring that, it on. Yeah, it's a level. That's a cheerleading movie. Also, a great movie. Bring yep. it on too is one of my. Favorites. So watch that with your family instead of the Super Bowl. Bring it on again. That's got Kirsten Dunst. Yeah. She she's still she's alive got, too. She's yep. not dead. A lot of people know. are asking. So anyway, she'll be on Drew next week. Yep, Drew's we'll see news. her on yeah. Drew's news. Um, with that being said, have an okay day.